Okay, hi guys. Um, I wanted to show you the piece that um, this is the piece that I'm going to be revamping. I've already um, chalk painted it and waxed it one time once before, but this time I'm doing something new. I have these molds from IOD. That's Iron Orchard Designs, and uh, I want to embellish here and embellish here, here and down the front, just so that when I paint it, it will have um, just more detail and more stuff. So right now what I'm going to do is I am going to clean it with the um, Odorless Mineral Spirits. That is Frankie. This is my dog, Frankie. Um, odorless Mineral Spirits. And um, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to wash that down. Okay, so I am using um, paper clay. I don't actually have the packaging because I had it in the, um, she gave me a, a sample. And um, so this is paper clay. I also bought some paper clay from Michaels, so but I haven't used that one yet. So this is how you do it. You just put it in the, um, in the mold. And I use this little roller and just rolled it in there like that. So it's nice and um, kind of flush. And then I kind of take off some of the excess so that it won't be um, so much to clean up. Like that. And I need to also keep the paper um, clay in an airtight container so it stays dry. This is getting a little bit old, so it's getting harder to work with than it did before when I first got the clay. And, oh, speaking of clay, when you make these, don't make them ahead of time because that's what I did. I made it ahead of time, and these are the ones that I made ahead of time. They're beautiful, but guess what? They curved. Can you see the curvature in that? So it curved, so I'm not, it doesn't lay flat on any, um, see how you can see all the way under here? It doesn't lay flat on the surface. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I got to figure out something to do with these. I had made all of my pieces before. That's those two. These are the two that I'm making right now. These also buckled. You see, they buckled. All of these buckled. Now they tell you to um, make them. And attach them to the to the project immediately. Well, not immediately, but you have a long working time. But you are supposed to attach them while they're wet to go around curves. But what I found is that you do need to attach it um, while it's wet so it won't um, buckle. Because that's what mine's did. Mine's buckled. Now, I also used, I have some that I use and I use the um, air dry clay. Now these were done with the air dry clay. These stayed flat. They they did well, actually. They did very well when I did the air dry clay. Only problem is they are a little bit more weighty than the um, paper clay. But the detail is still there and everything. So you can also try air dry clay. So that worked well and it didn't buckle. Okay, so I'm gonna um, try to pull this out for you so you can see. And then I just usually take some kind of uh, a little stick. You're supposed to bend it on the side. And of course, it probably ain't going to come out right because I'm on camera. But we'll see. Okay. There we go. Then you just lay it flat like that. And while it's dry, my daughter does clay, so I had this little tool. You just go in and um, clean up everything. 
Now, usually I clean this up before I do it. I was just trying to do it for time's sake so that you could really see it in real time. Okay, so that's it. So I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to um, apply the embellishment. I am kind of looking for sort of the um, over the top look because the, play the table is um, pretty plain. And I'm doing this as my practice so that I can do a larger piece with even more embellishment on it because that's really what I'm looking for. So um, these are the pieces that I made. Now these are all in the <clears throat> paper clay. These are all paper clay so they are lighter. I ran out of paper clay so I made these. These are in the regular um, air dry clay. This stuff right here. The regular um, air dry clay you get from Michaels, whatever the case may be. Okay, so that's what I use for that. So now I'm going to show you how to embellish it. You're going to need some wood glue. Okay, so I'm going to take the um, back of it. I'm going to take the wood glue and just brush it on there. Trying to make sure I get it all over. Now, this is my first time doing this also, so, you know, it's a trial and error. But it gives such an impact till I just wanted to try it. And I have a couple pieces that I want to try it on. So, if you can see, you might can't see, but there is a little, um, a little, um, uh, a little pencil mark here and a little pencil mark there that is kind of like my guide so I'm gonna take this and just oh this is the hard way slap this on like this
Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to show you what I've been working on, which is, of course, you know I'm a painter, so I have been painting and I started painting furniture, so this is my first project, and I just wanted to show you um, the end result of my first um, blended painted project. Uh, paint blending project because that's what it is it's paint blending project this is the first of many if you need if you would like to see uh the full details on how i got it to look like this go to my youtube channel it's z and kk um arts and craft i'll have a link attached uh below this is one of five projects that I'm going to be working on because you know it's summertime, so I'm doing my home decor. Uh, some will be furniture, some will be artwork that I need for upstairs in my hallway. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm just learning this technique, so if you want to come along with me and learn this technique with me and, and start a new business or a, a new hobby, uh, just sign up. Click the link in my bio and sign up for our Create and Paint classes to learn how to revamp furniture. I will also have a list of the products used and the place where I get my supplies from in Cleveland, Ohio. If you are interested in any of the pieces that you see me revamp, please uh, direct message me and I will be able to assist people in the Cleveland, Ohio area with purchasing these items. Thanks for watching. This is Zeta with Z and KK's Crab and Azori Design.